Hare Krishna. My name is Chintamani. Today, I am going to narrate a story on the topic called The Merciful Lord. Today, I am going to narrate a story on the great devotee of the Lord called Nasi Mehta. Have you heard his name? No? Okay. Have you heard Gandhiji's favorite bhajan? Vaishnava bhajan to te ne kaiye je peed paraye jane re This was written by the great poet called he was Narsi Mehta. Um, the, the gist of this bhajan is a pure devotee doesn't want anything for himself always concerned about the Lord and his devotees. One such pure devotee was Nasi Mehta. He was born in Talaja and later shifted to Junagadh in Saurashtra, Gujarat. Uh, he lost his parents when he was five years old. He was raised by his grandmother Jai Gauri. Nasi Mehta lived in poverty with his wife Mankebai and two children, a son named Shamaldas and a daughter Kuar Bai, for whom he had special affection. As he was a great poet who always sang Krishna's glories, he was totally dependent on the Lord for his livelihood. Rakhe Krishna Mareke, Mare Krishna Rakheke was his motto. There are many incidents of Lord showing mercy in Nasi's life. One such famous pastime happened when Nasi's daughter became pregnant after marriage. According to the social custom of that time, the girl's parents had to give gifts to all the in-laws during the seventh month of pregnancy. It was simply out of reach of poor Nasi who had hardly anything except faith in, the, in Krishna. He had faith in the unconceivable potencies of the Lord and had no doubt God could do anything. He was living a life of a renunciate. Nursi, uh, with firm faith that God could oversee the function, Nursi reached Kuarbai's house with some sadhus. He was in old clothes. The in-laws of Kurbai demanded a lot of things in order to put down the image of Narsi and make him an object of fun. Uh, Narsi reached Kurbai's house. He started singing the glories of the Lord. People, people, uh, Narsi wanted to give Harinam to all, but people started laughing at him. So Narsi, so Kurbai began to cry and pleaded Narsi to stop singing, but he did not listen. As soon as the Kirtan reached its crescendo, Sri Krishna and Rukmini appeared in form of rich merchants but introduced themselves as the sea servants. <coughs> they were all the things need, all the gifts needed for the program. They gave expensive gifts to all. From this story we learn how merciful the Lord is. From faith that Krishna intervenes in our life that when we show Krishna that I am totally dependent on you, like a small child on his mother. Actually, Lord is very mercifully a fair receptive. It says the ocean of mercy. Mercy means a blessing which we don't deserve. Thank you.